This is just us discussing an overview of what the first trimester is like. And we know we got the second trimester that we're going to cover in the third. So to wrap things up, what are some, some expectations that you think parents to be should look out for in the first trimester? Just given what we've gone through. That's a great segue. So expectations is, I would say, first off, be patient. Mm -hmm. um, definitely mm -hmm. from a man's point of view, you have to be patient and you have to realize that there is changes happening yeah. um, for both people, but definitely the woman that you have to be patient along the journey and, and realize that this is something different than you've ever done before. Mm -hmm. If this is your first child. Mm -hmm. So being patient, um, you, you have to have that expectation. You have to have the expectation that you need to start moving differently mm -hmm. and thinking differently and having just a different mentality, mm -hmm. bringing a child into the world. I would say the other expectation is to know that there will be days that are going to be tough, mm -hmm. definitely for your lady mm -hmm. and maybe days where she's not feeling good all day, right. maybe a couple of days she's not feeling mm -hmm. good um, just from nausea and morning sickness and just the symptoms of pregnancy and all the different changes going on, the hormones changing mm -hmm. and everything. You have to be patient within that as the man. Um, you have to realize that these changes are a blessing overall. Yeah. Um, and just having that expectation going in so that you can have that patience and you can continue to look at it in a positive way, even though there might be tough days in that first trimester, mm -hmm. just looking at it from that expectation. Yeah. That's, that's great. That's now, a great point. Now, what would you say your expectations for, for women expecting just like moms to be, um, I would say that pregnancy looks different on every woman. Mm. So really try not to base someone else's pre base your experience off of someone else's pregnancy because mm -hmm. what may have worked for them or something they didn't go through, you may go through. Mm -hmm. Now, it's great to also rely on moms that have gone through it so that they can help coach you or guide you through the trimester, um, the first trimester. But I would say definitely don't go in thinking that your pregnancy may be just like the next person's because it looks so different. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, I got all the symptoms where some of my sisters didn't really have any symptoms or they don't remember it, it being that rough for them. Mm -hmm. So I would say know that pregnancy looks different on every person and listen to your body. You really have to listen to your body. If your That's body is telling you to slow down, you have to slow down. We're very busy people. We used to, you know, we're used to being on the go and walking five miles and doing this and doing that. I, cu I couldn't do that in the first trimester. I didn't work out in the first trimester. I had to relax. I had to slow down. I had to listen to my body and allow my body to go through these changes the best way it knows how to, to create life. And so I would definitely say learn to be patient because we want things to just be over and, and done with. And you just have to be patient. You have to listen to your body. Um, embrace the changes, like you said, is something that's very important. And in the first trimester, we watched quite a few YouTube videos that other people posted about what to expect. Ask a lot of questions yeah. in your doctor's appointments. That's a good one. It's That is the time where if you don't know, do some research ask questions, really talk to your doctors, because there was stuff that, I, like I said, I had found out that I carried a trait of cystic fibrosis, which I didn't know, but it was great to talk to the doctor and learn about what they're testing for, why they're testing for, how does this impact me? How does it impact the baby? What are some good questions to ask? What changes are things that we I should be concerned about and things that are totally normal during a pregnancy? So there's a lot of moving parts in the first trimester, although there aren't many physical changes. You're going through a lot of hormonal changes, emotional changes, spiritual changes, physical changes from the symptoms and the nausea and, and whatever else may come with it. And and also another one is relationship changes and relationship changes. Yeah, yeah because yeah. that's something we could talk about in another video. Yes, this video is getting kind of lengthy. Yeah, but as far as like the relationship definitely changes as well mm -hmm. and you have to adapt and you yeah. have to embrace the changes like we've been saying overall, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. the relationship 
definitely takes a, a different spin that it's never taken before if that yeah. if this is your first child together yes. and something another thing that you have to mm-hmm. go in with the expectations of as well yep <clears throat> and with that said we hope you guys really enjoyed this video again this is just an overall viewpoint of what the first trimester has been like for us what our experience has been like and we really do hope that you guys got some value from it found it very educational and Hope that these expectations will help you if you are in your pregnancy right now or if you are parents hoping to become pregnant very soon. So with that said, we're going to sign off for today. My name is Jen. And I am Shane. And we are the Yambors. Enjoy the journey. (laughs) (laughs) Peace. That was actually good. Yeah, keep it.